Nihao Ma Bai Ling. So what I want to do is uh, do a quick uh, sketch of you um, and see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a simple shape. When I draw characters, fictional characters, real life people, things from outer space, creatures, humans, dogs, cats, I try to focus on shapes. So in this case, like with your hair, with your ponytail, you have your ponytail in multiple ways. And what I'm going to try to do here is uh, focus on the shapes that your ponytail would take. Um, in here, it's like a loaf of bread and a bent rectangle and a hanging like number nine. Like, but the hanging number nine is, uh, you know, it's just the very end of it. And then what I'm going to do is close it off. with the back of your head. This is tough. I've been drawing since I was 14 years old. I am almost 40. And uh, I remember I saw you in The Crow and I thought that was really cool. And I wish Brandon Lee were still around. He could show some of the new uh, movie stars how it's done. I think as as bad as 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 bad as Hugh Hefner's death was, he lived a good long life. But I wish Brandon Lee was still around. I wish he was still here. As is like River Phoenix and uh, Chris Farley and such. Okay, so this is your so your ponytails to me are like long razor blades. So when I see long razor blades, that's what I go with. I think you're the easiest to draw because you don't have that much to demand. It doesn't demand that much. And this is the side of your hair. It's hard when an artist puts a lot of work into the things he does, he gets ignored for most of his life. He gets taken for granted. And then people like to say that that artist never did anything. And that artist would say, fuck you, I've done a lot of work because, you know, I've been out there. You just haven't been paying attention. But it goes for actors, singers, uh, you know, mimes, uh, people who tell stories to kids. It happens to everybody, I think. And just what can you really do? OK, so for the ears. What I'm doing is I'm kind of making it more of a top. Very simple shapes, very simple things. Okay, I'm going to give you more of a forehead here. What I'm going to try to do is not emphasize your age too much. I know you're past the 50 mark, but I don't see you as 50. I think because Asian women don't age that badly. Um, White people age badly, Latinos age badly, but, you know, it's, with Asians, it's different. It's not the same exact things. Okay. All right. Give you sort of a longer nose here and the lips it's hard to uh, it's hard to get this it's my first time ever drawing you I've never drawn you before Now I'm going to draw here, so I don't want this taken down from you two. I'm going to draw two um, lotus blossoms in place of your tits, because I think that tits are beautiful. The pussy is beautiful, but, um, you know, 
YouTube doesn't always agree. So we'll just put something just as nice, I think, and it'll be fine. Let me just put a waist. See, I see when I draw people's arms, it's always a funny shape. It's a series of triangles, a series of bent macaroni or elbow macaroni. So these are two lotus blossoms. Yeah, the human body can be beautiful when you're a beautiful woman, of course, when you're a male. I remember I, um, just a quick note, I remember I, would, I did acting before I turned 30 or after I turned 30. And my director told me that there was a play where you go up on stage, this is in Hollywood, and people would be naked. But the pretty girls, the ones like that have a, your kind of body, they would be quick to run off the stage and then the ugly fat bastards, they would be like, hey, look at this. I'm flaunting this out. Look at me. I didn't want any part of that. I did a vampire masquerade uh, type of play. Um, but I wasn't really interested in that kind of thing. But that's the way Hollywood directors are. They want to do all kinds of stuff. It's, it's Hollywood. Eraser dust. And probably have about 15 minutes here to really give you something. Yeah, this is just a quick sketch. If you like this one, if you if you think it's worth it, um, and then I'll draw some more of these. The worst thing in the world when an artist goes through is when he draws, and um, when he draws, he goes unappreciated, and the work gets taken for granted. I can do like full color drawings. I can do, I'm trying to see. She's going to do some sort of poor Yorick kind of thing here. But instead of a real skull, I figured we'd just make it a candy skull. Yeah. And let's see. I've got a couple more minutes here. I'll draw the rest of you. Yeah, I think you look good in all your photos. I won't say on a scale of 1 to 10, but you look fantastic. But anybody, I mean, how many guys say that? think we just have like short shorts that kind of are open at the bottom in the middle 
kind of a tease. Maybe just like you have this string of buttons that keeps it open. And that's it. And that's all there is to it. So, and I'll just sign my name if I ever run into you. I'm going to have to learn your Mandarin equivalent of your name. See, I've studied Japanese for eight years. So when you see my postings as Cypher Diaz on Instagram, it's um, I write in Japanese. So I understand Mandarin, but not how to speak it, just how to write the characters. Um, Now, what's today? Nine. I think it's the 28th. And then I'll put 17. There we go. Yoko tekimashita. So, Ji Jean, thank you for your time. And uh, until another drawing, cheers.